Hey, it's Beth Adams with Realty One Group Mountain Desert. And I wanted to talk to you just briefly regarding agency in Arizona. So whether you're a first time home buyer, an investor, or you're relocating from another state, in Arizona, we allow buyers to choose how they want their agents to work for them. So we have a form called the Agency Disclosure and Election Form. And this form I'll be sending you shortly for you to review and sign, but this form allows you to choose how you want us to work for you. And it explains our fiduciary responsibilities to you. So our responsibilities are obedience, loyalty, disclosure, confidentiality, accounting, and reasonable skill and care, or since we love acronyms so much in this business, old car. So that means that we're gonna work very hard for you and hold your interests at heart and try to get you the very best deal um, possible. So when I send you the form, I would like you to read it through and then you'll have a couple of boxes to choose from. So in Arizona, I can work for you exclusively as your buyer broker, which means I will only represent you as the buyer, but that also limits me on the amount of homes that I get to show you because it doesn't allow me to show you any homes that are listed in my brokerage or that I have listed myself. Now, if you would like to see homes that are listed with my brokerage or that I have listed myself, you're going to possibly check the box that would allow us to represent not only just you as the buyer, but also the seller, because either myself or another agent in my office might be representing a seller of a home that you find and like. That's cons called consent to limited representation. And with that, because the property listed might be listed with myself or another agent in my brokerage. It means that the property is under the one brokerage umbrella, which means there would be some limitations as to what we can do for you if we were working in dual capacity. So when you look at that form, read through that very carefully, and we can also have a conversation a little bit more in detail about what that means. Also in the state of Arizona, you should know that there's several things that a seller is not obligated to disclose, and therefore we may not know as the buyer's agent and be able to disclose to you. And that is if there has been a death in the home, that a seller is not obligated to disclose that, nor are they obligated to disclose if someone in the home has had a contagious disease such as HIV or AIDS. They also do not have to disclose whether there has been a felony committed in the home. So those are the three things that a seller does not have to disclose. A death in the home, a contagious disease such as HIV or AIDS, and also whether or not there's been a felony committed. And that is per state Arizona laws. And so if that is a material fact to you, we certainly wanna know that up front and we want to be able to ask those questions. Now, just because the seller isn't obligated to disclose doesn't mean that they won't. So I'm going to send you your agency form. I appreciate you watching this video. I look forward to you reading through that form thoroughly, and then let's have a conversation about how you would like me to work for you. I'm really excited to take this real estate journey with you, and I can't wait to go out and start home shopping. See you soon.